All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, elect out here toiling in this truth. I'm Pathaka Moth, GMS Dallas. And I'm just coming back at you with a really quick, quick, uh, 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 quick hit lesson. Just, uh, you know, it's going to be real short and to the point. You know, I was watching the, uh, uh, this video uh, from the brothers out there in GMS Boston on the streets. And, uh, you know, they had a little uh, uh, discourse with, uh, with the uh, an Edomite woman. And uh, throughout the discourse, uh, of course, she she came to the realization of of the things that the brothers were teaching, which the Bible says, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, towards the end of the con uh, the conversation that they were having with her, the, the discourse, they the the brother here on the screen as, that you can see here on the screen uh, asked asked the uh, the woman what her name was. And of course, <laughs> the brother said, Karen, you know what I'm saying? And, and she she's going to respond. That wasn't that's not nice, which proves that, you know, like the and the brother uh, behind the camera is going to say, ah, they know the, the, the stigma that comes with that. Karen, it's, it's a you know, which because uh, uh, Karen, uh, uh, Becky, all these different things are becoming. uh uh. uh Proverbs and bywords, man, according to the scriptures, they're becoming that astonishment, man. You know what I'm saying? That was put on the nation of Israel. So really quick before before I uh, before I play the, the, the video, I want, I, I want to play this real quick. I want I mean, I want to get this uh, scripture real quick in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, because uh, uh, the, the 28th chapter of Deuteronomy, the uh, 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 28th uh, chapter goes into uh, uh, the blessings and the curses, man. You know what I'm saying? One through 14. Are, are blessings that if we were to hearken to the voice of the Lord, we would we would have received, you know, being over these nations, you know, getting all the the, the, the blessings, you know, the dew uh, uh, of heaven, the fatness of the earth. You know what I'm saying? And. Uh, of course, I'm going to jump down to verse 15 and I'm going to read verse 15 and then I'm going to go into. And I'm going to jump down. This is Deut Deuteronomy 28, 15. But if but it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You know, and the nation of Israel, of course, did not hearken to the voice of the Lord, man. You know, they're hard headed, stiff necked people. And, 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 you know, of course, that punishment had to come, you know, uh, worshiping idols. You know what I'm saying? Not not doing the will of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Committing that's a, a spiritual fornication, man. That spiritual adultery on the Lord, man. You know, so the Lord pursuing the Hosea, the first chapter, got rid of his people, man. You know what I'm saying? Which left them uh, uh, to these other nations, man. Primarily these Edomites, man. You know, and the Edomites are the are are, are the so-called self-proclaimed white man, woman, and child today in these times, man. Who go back to their forefather Esau, you know. And uh, when you jump down to verse 37. This is what's going on right here. Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all the nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. Because we went, we were scattered pursuant to the 64th uh, uh, verse by way of cargo slave ships pursuant to the 68th verse. You know what I'm saying? And among those uh, uh, nations where we were scattered, which is all nations throughout the four corners of the earth, we became Verse 37, uh, 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 you know, an astonishment, a proverb and a byword, you know what I'm saying? So that was a curse that was put on the nation of Israel for going off. Now, when you read in, 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 uh, in Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, you know, and of course, we would uh, both things had to play out. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read verse verse one, then I'm going to jump down to verse seven. It says, and, sh and it shall come to pass when all this Deuteronomy 30 and one, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse, which I have set before thee, the blessing and the curse. And thou shalt call them to mind among the nations, whither Yahweh hath driven thee. You know what I'm saying? So it was set up for us to go through 
both the blessings and the curse. So guess what? If that was set up for the, the nation of Israel, it's set up, it's set up the same way for these other nations, man. You know, Esau and these other nations have been in their blessing, and the nation of nation of Israel has been in the curses, man. So there's only one place left to go. The nation of Israel are gonna go into the blessings, and these other nations, primarily these Edomites, you know, are going into their curses, man. Which we're going to jump down to verse 7 just to prove that, man. This is Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. You know, and when you read in, in, in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and verse 68, you know, it tells you your enemies are those uh, uh, that sold you, man. You know what I'm saying? When we went into slavery, they, uh, uh, Esau sold us on them auction, auctioning blocks, man. You know what I'm saying? So these curses are, are going upon them now, man. You know what I'm saying? Which we just read in, in uh, 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 Deuteronomy 28. I'll jump back over there and read it one more time. Then we're going to go to the video. It's Deuteronomy 28 and verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. So these things were on the nation of Israel. We just read in verse in uh, uh, chapter 30 that uh, uh, these things are going to be placed on our enemies and all of them that persecuted thee and hate and hate uh, hated us, man. You know what I'm saying? So these things are going on the Edomites now, man. So so let's let's listen to this video real quick because she's going to let you know. Watch this right here. Let's hear it. Let's hear that one more time. <laughs> and there it is, man. You know what I'm saying? That Karen, you know, it, it, hey, it's, 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 associated, it's associated to something uh, uh, not, not good, man. You know what I'm saying? So they don't want to be called by, 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 you know, Karen or Becky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so these proverbs, these bar words are, are, are landing upon these nations, man. You know, and that astonishment is on them, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, when we just bought the scriptures out. So, hey, I just wanted to, you know, real quick go into that, man, because I thought it was, you know, when when that, when he said that and she and she responded the way she did, you know, telling him that's not nice. You know, hey, those uh those curses are going upon uh, these other nations, man. You know, these Edomites primarily, you know, is about to be those uh, uh, that astonishment, that astonishment, uh, uh, the proverb and by words, you know, among these nations, man. You know, so, hey, I thought that was interesting. So. You know, with that, giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawa Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadah, Shalom.